fellas and welcome. If I sound dead and you were in the video, uh, I was sick and my voice sounds like I'm dying. So that partially explains the reason why it took me forever to make this video. The other part of the reason is because I'm lazy. That's literally it. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, in this video I will show you how I made anime will crash physics so you can too. A uh, quick disclaimer disclaimer before uh, we begin uh, this video is not going to teach you how to animate it will only teach you how to make uh, rigs with crash physics and just the process I went through to get here so it explains a bit more if you want these rigs uh, the link is going to be below in the description uh, so yeah, that will be it. Let's get into it. Okay, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to split the car into two different sections. First part being the rear of the car, which doesn't really have anything interesting to it. The front tower is going to be built in two units. The first uh, unit is going to consist of the damaged front and the second unit is going to consist of the uh, clean uh, front. So, and you can easily change between by just changing the transparency of the Manuna mirror just like this. I could have used the free model cars, but you're not going to see me remake it in Mesh and Blender. Uh, well, yeah, there are so so called damaged cars in the toolbox box, but come on, you're not fooling anyone. All you did was slightly move the bumper and called it a day. Like, it may look fine on one side, but then when you go to the other side, uh, stuff get weird from there. Sorry, I'm losing my point here. The front is going to be broken down into three different parts consisting of the plastic parts which make up the body, the grilly, then the metal parts. To change between the broken and clean parts all you have to do is check the transparency of the three things I mentioned before. So for example when a car uh, has an impact then you would cha uh, change transparency of the broken parts to zero and transparency of the clean parts to one. And yeah, it's that simple. There isn't really anything confusing to it. But I want a bit more. So I made a second version which uh, has animatable bumper parts. In this rig, you don't really need to change the transparency of anything. The whole part is just going to be moved and adjusted uh, to the damage. Uh, this one covers not as detailed as the one before that because this one was a pain to make and it actually took me two days to get it done. Uh, so here's a side by side comparison of the last rig to this rig. For this rig what I did was I attached the bumper pieces, the glass pieces. Uh, and the pieces of the hood to the body. This rig is n this rig is not perfect, but it's it's all right. This rig was not supposed to be good in the first place. This was just an experiment. Um, it's not really difficult to make something like this. Like you could do this yourself. Now, if you want to use my rigs, how do you actually use them? We'll start with the first one. Uh, and this one is a bit easier to animate. So as you can see when you're gonna start noticing to animate when you start to animate you're gonna start noticing that there's the body and then there's these parts one invisible and one just like that and nothing happens to make things worse of damage well so we won't just need to add the car we'll need to add a bit more so first um look um Forgotten and end it. There you go. Um, so we're gonna go and we're gonna add uh, the clean damage, and then we're gonna add the uh, the damage front. Um, we're gonna add all of these. Yeah, we're gonna add all of these. Then we're gonna make sure we add transparency because that's what we're gonna be animating. And we're going to add keyframes for all of them um, by selecting them all and clicking plus. <coughs> and um, what you will do is, uh, if it says one, you're actually 
um, let's just say, let's just say uh, your car comes here, and right here you want it to break, okay? So you're gonna move, uh, you're gonna keep the, f the frames of how the car looks right now, right here, in the beginning, and then the frames of where the car is going to be uh, crashing at the place where you want to crash. So I'm gonna put them right here. Uh, first, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go through each one of them, um, these keyframes. You, uh, to open this thing, uh, you click seven on your number pad, um, and you're gonna you're gonna change all of them. You're going to change it. If it says one, you're gonna change it to zero, and if it says zero, you're going to change it to one. So I'm gonna go through all of them and do that. What we're basically doing is we're changing the transparency of the clean and broken parts. So that we can't see the clean parts and we can only see the broken parts. We may notice that it's just driving to the place where we want to crash and it just becomes transparent. But to fix that we're going to copy these frames that are in the beginning over here and just paste them right here close to here that it crashes when we want to. If you want the uh, damage happen instantly, you don't want the weird um, thing going on where it becomes transparent, just set it to constant and it will instantly be crash. So yeah, pretty simple like that. For the other one, it's pretty much, it's pretty straightforward. You just animate these like you animate anything else. See, they're pretty simple. I I don't know why I left this here, but it's my bad. So yeah, that's pretty much it for how you use these. If you watched all the way to the end, you can consider yourself cool. All I'm going to ask you for is to please subscribe. We're trying to get to 500 subscribers, and you would help a lot by clicking that subscribe button. Uh, I do these for free and I don't get paid for any of this, so yeah. Uh, one last thing I will say is if you're planning on using uh, any of my rigs, uh, this, these rigs or just any other rigs I made, uh, like in a YouTube video or Roblox game, please give me credit somewhere like down in the description or something. Uh, other than that, thank you guys for watching.